often later to Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, retired Major General Muhammad Buhari. Time for Felt Central Bank of Nigeria CVN Tribunal. Your Excellency, most Nigerians, including my humble self, are looking forward to your personal intervention into the ongoing CBN saga involving the stamp duty fraud allegation of 89 trillion naira with a view to restoring sanity. The CBN issue has become a major subject of discussion in the social media, resulting in various interpretations that do not warrant going over in this often later. In my view, the most useful approach to the whole matter is to set up a judicial commission of inquiry or any afro structure to investigate and deliver justice to the satisfaction of Nigerians. In recent memory, special tribunals have been instituted to investigate complex matters, especially involving actors with conflict of interest, similar to the alleged time duty scam and other financial improprieties involving the CBN. For instance, there has been a felt bank's tribunal under General Sani Abacha, even though the implicated loaders went unfurnished. Earlier on, in 1980, the Malang Aminu Kano PRP government in Kano State had appointed a judicial commission of inquiry into land administration and floods allocation in Kano State under the chairmanship of Justice Layola, which investigated every land allocation between 1967 to 1979 and recommended a course of action. Similarly, in 1984, when you were the military head of state, you set up a judicial committee which investigated the government of President Shehu Ali Ushagari, after which you told the world that only three people were found not guilty of any crime, namely President Shehu Ushagari, Malam Adamuchiroma, and Bunyamun Usman but kept President Shehu Ali Ushagari under detention for 20 months, only to be released by IVV after the overthrow of your administration. We did not forget that in the process, you even attempted to repatriate Umorudiko in casket to Nigeria to answer his crimes. We expected a similar attempt, effort against former Minister of Petroleum, Daisani Alison Maduke, whose monumental fraud was uncovered by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. It is also still fresh in our memory that when you were toffled in 1985, you were detained for 40 months without telling you or anybody your actual crime other than being too rigid. Without doubt, this time around, the larger public will associate certain failures or national issues with your administration, ranging from Boko Haram, kidnapping, oil theft, unconcluded fraud cases, economic-related difficulties, including the alleged CV and scam, etc. While not everything can be attributed to you, Mr. President, you cannot avoid taking responsibility for some after your tenure. It is therefore important that you decisively tackle those that can be regarded as a result of your inaction while leaving the rest for first charity to judge you, having done the best you could in handling them. Your Excellency, the prevailing circumstance makes it socially, politically, and economically imperative 
to set up such a powerful judicial commission of inquiry into all the apparent failures involving not only the CVN, but also all individuals, interest groups, institutions, within or outside all arms of government. Commissions of inquiries had in the past been veritable means of digging deep into major misdemeanors to uncover all issues instead of leaving the debate to the press, especially the unregulated social media. For instance, a situation where an honorable member of the National Assembly serving as secretary of a committee said to be appointed by Your Excellency could be denied access to report back affairs to find to a major consequence. The Nigerian public has already formed the impression that the presidential villa that has been on the defensive and indeed some of your cabinet members may be deeply involved in this monumental crime against the Nigerian people. This lends credence to the much taunted existence of the so-called cabals around you. No doubt the larger public is left in the dark on this issue of CBN fraud. Hence, the various impressions that looters and enemies of the state have succeeded in pillocating you from knowing the truth and taking appropriate action. The essence of any government everywhere in the world is to protect the lives, health, wealth, integrity, and religion of the entire citizenry and those living in the country. When people realized that they are sacred cows, they begin to doubt the sincerity of the government and seek for change. As you always say, Jiki Magai, real change is not only important, but also necessary. We remember your declaration after taking off of office in 2015 that you belong to everybody and belong to no one or rather belong to nobody. But the fact on the ground seems to indicate otherwise. Nigerians have been yearning for your style of leadership of 1984. It is not too late to tame the demons by instituting a judicial commission of inquiry to wait into the CBN matter and quickly dispose of it before the elections. As you teach in time, Sefs 9, written by Abdul Karim Dayabu, National President, Movement for Justice in Nigeria, for my President, Kano Chamber of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture, Kachima. Contacts 0023106666 and 0806011666. Thank you and bye for now.